Hello, my name is Blake, and I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and run Visual Boy Advance. And uh, I'll also be showing you how to download ROMs and run them. Alright, well, first of all, what you need to do is you need to open the internet. And go to Google, because you know Google is your friend. Type in Visual Boy Advance. Oh, and it'll take you to this, and click on Downloads right here. Uh, it should be right there on the first one. It'll say Visual Boy Advance right at the top. Um, I'll wait for this to load. All right, well that loads. Scroll down a little bit, and. It should have it right here. And uh, this is version 1.7.2. Uh, this is Windows. If you have Windows and I have Windows, you'd click on this little link right here. And it'll take you to sourceforge.net. It'll bring you um, to this little thing right here. Uh, click Download. Oh, wait. Click this right here. Click this button to uh, download file. And then it should pop up. And what you want to do is um, save. And then uh, find the file that you want to save in. Um, what I usually do, I have my own personal file. Uh, I go to my stuff, and I go to other stuff, and programs, and I download right here. But for um, most people, you'd want to download right on the um, desktop, because that's the easiest place to find it. So you would save that. I already have mine downloaded. Um, so you save that, and when it pops up here on your uh, desktop, or whatever file you save it to, you would um, right-click it, and uh, say extract all files, and then it'll you just extract the files and then it'll take it to your um, desktop and when you do so um, you want to open it and I'll open mine through my files oh uh, wait uh, here's mine Visual Boy Advance, it's just what it looks like, the icon double click it and open it and it'll open up a big window now, for um, you people, uh, you probably don't have any ROMs yet, so I'm going to show you how to download some ROMs. Pretty much any Game Boy game that you want can be found through ROMs. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go to Google again, and um, type in any Game Boy game you want. Let's say uh, Pokemon Emerald, and then put ROM on the end of it, R-O-M. And then download. Um, this one should work right here at the top. So uh, click on that, and it'll open up right here. And um, select download ROM right here. Um, scroll down a little bit and. It'll say, download Emerald Pokemon Emerald GBA Zip. And uh, this thing should open up again. Click Save. I'll actually download this and save it because I don't have this one yet. I just have um, some hacked versions. And those are a little more into it. Um, you can save to your desktop again or a specific file. I'll save to my desktop since uh, that's what you guys are doing, or if you want to do it. Uh, click on Save and let that download. I'll let that download and I'll come right back. Alright, well it looks like um, my Pokemon Emerald ROM is uh, finished downloading, so you click on Close. And um, it should open up right on your desktop. There it is. And what you want to do is you want to extract all again. And select Extract. And it'll do this. I'll wait till it's done.
Alright, it's done extracting, and um, when you see that, it should open up this little file. And what you want to do with that is, um, if you saved it to your desktop uh, initially, then it should uh, just save right on your desktop again, like right here. Um, so, if that's right, then unless you saved it to a document file like you, if you wanted to, it should save there. But, um, yeah, you just got to remember where you saved it and close. And what you want to do is open up your Visual Boy Advance if you haven't already. Go to File, um, Open, and then uh, find the file that has your ROM, which ours is saved on our desktop. It should be uh, right here. Um, oh, Pokemon Emerald number GBA. Just uh, double click that, and it should load up. And here it is. Alright, that's how you get it to work. Um, there are some tools for this. Uh, you can um, save your game, but not like you normally would on a Game Boy. You would have to come up here to File, and go down to Save Game, or Save, or whatever you want to do, and it'll save it. And then uh, to load it back up, um, it'll tell you to uh, save it on an, uh, one of your functions, like F1, F2, F3, or whatever, so you'd have to save it there, and then when you want to play again, um, you just open up the same ROM, and you press whatever function you saved it on, and it'll load back up to your saved file. And, um, options. There's all these. Most of these don't matter, um, but your joypad. If you don't like the way your, um, joypad is set up, uh, then you can, uh, you can uh, customize it, and yeah, this is up, up arrow, down arrow, I have mine customized, um, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow, those are down here on your, um, key, keyboard, and then A button, uh, I have it for Z, and, you know, etc., it goes all the way down, um, to whatever you want to do, and then you click OK, and that'll, um, start up your, uh, joypad to how you want it, and uh, that's about it. There are cheats, but they're a little complicated. Um, cheat list. What you want to do is you want to get on the internet and um, go to Pokemon Emerald Cheats, or like Game Shark Code Breaker, and you'd enter in right here. You'd uh, describe the code, and you just uh, pa uh, copy and paste right here, and click OK, and it'll put your cheats on them right there. Um, that's about it. So I hope you've learned a little bit from this video, and uh, thanks for watching.